Ready? How's it going, everybody? What it do? Today I'm coming at you with a certified hood classic. This is the Master Grade Wing Zero Rebound! I know it's been a fat minute since I've seen y'all, but I'm here. And today, I'm at full power. Come on! Watch this. I'll take you on. Give them hell. Let's go. You're finished. We're out of here. During my little hiatus from the channel, I've been experimenting with some things, and I wanted to show you guys how I hit these gradients with spray cans. Well, I try to stick with larger parts, and I start with the middle color first, so then I can just hit the outside colors at an angle. I don't let the orange dry up before doing the other colors, I just think it blends better that way. But maybe that's just dumb luck. And here's me thinking I'm slick trying the same technique on a much smaller piece. Only like 20% of the spray is actually hitting something. <laughs> this is so wasteful, dude. And now for easily the most time-consuming part of the project, all the detailing. Gonna start with the panel lining. Ugh. But first I gotta pet this kitty. Hitting them spots that no one else is gonna see. And making them colors pop. Man, look at that boy. Time for some risky business with the paint marker. One wrong move and it can spill all over the place. At that point, you might as well just throw the whole thing out. Getting out the water slides to wrap things up. I'm not going to go crazy with them, but there are some nice options here. These are sold separately, by the way. I can't believe I was able to get that gradient on that V-fin. I definitely feel like I'm reaching a new level with things, but there's still so much to learn. There's a lot of stuff I haven't even tried yet. This decal probably isn't going to stay on, but you can't stop me. These long, skinny decals are a bitch and a half to deal with, but, you know, they're worth the effort, and I think the results will speak for themselves. Not, not like I'm bragging about it or anything. I got these UV panel liners, but at the time I didn't want to maybe ruin a good thing. I have since tried them, and they are awesome. I'll put a link for you guys in the description to go check them out. All that's left is to throw a matte coat on this boy and it's showtime. Let's check out some of the features. You get a tiny view of the cockpit, the beam sabers stow into the shoulders, and we got some miniature cannons on the collarbone. Oh, sorry handsome. <laughs> the back part of the leg armor pops out so you can twist the foot around. This is used for the transformation and we'll get to that in just a moment. We got these nice clamshell style wings, the namesake of the kit. These are actually pretty sturdy. You get these extra fins on both ends that kind of extend your wingspan a little bit. You get this nice little action base included, and I like how this fits onto the back instead of going up the butt as per usual. Kind of breaks the immersion a bit for me. You may have noticed I used a banana for a counterweight because this thing tends to lean forward so hard that it face plants. I saw people online talking about how they would glue coins to the base for that extra weight. So I said, all right, bet. Especially after painting it, that's 39 cents well spent. Just, uh, don't tell the cops. We got one half of the twin buster rifle here. Very simple but stylish weapon, especially if you paint it. Had a good time hitting all those gold parts, even if it isn't perfect. You can adjust the handle forward or backward. This is for attaching it onto other things. On the other side, we got two connecting pegs. The left one is to connect to the other rifle, and the peg on the back end connects to the shield. So you just get your twin rifle and you slap them together real quick. And look at that, you just doubled up, baby. So you can dual wield this with both the handles or you can adjust it for one hand or the other. 
Very nice. We got this aerodynamic looking shield with a whole lot of colors going on. These twin blades on the bottom pull out together. And you've got a sort of landing pad for the bird mode. Interesting. You can extend the shield out a little bit, revealing some extra detail on the inside. And that decal just fell off. <clears throat> God damn it. You can slap the rifles on both sides of the shield and it's just the coolest thing ever. Look at that, folks. Ain't nothing wrong with this picture. You get this stupid ass transformation that gets memed on all the time because you just rotate the body 180 degrees, throw the shield on the back, call it a day. Look at that shit. You're just zip zooping all over the fucking place. No, no, I'm not mad. I ain't mad. All right, time for my final thoughts, and let's just throw all the pointers up on the board now. This is my favorite version of the Wing Gundam. It just has that very simple but striking color scheme. Kind of reminds me of Jeff Gordon. Mmm, very American looking Gundam. You got a basic but slick arsenal. Always a plus when you can stash everything on the Gundam. Big fan of the action base, but this kit definitely has a tendency to lean one way or the other. The last point is really more of a nitpick, but the arms and lower section are kind of lame compared to everything else that's going on here. I'm gonna say this is a very solid 8.5. Even with that dumb transformation, this is a solid project. Looks great when you panel line it, especially if you paint it. I won't lie though, the endless waltz for Ka is a better bang for the same buck. But I'm still happy I got this kid in my collection, boy. What's up everyone? No, I haven't seen you since like, January? I'm older? I'm fatter, I'm more grizzled in the face. I just wanted to say thank you for watching the video. I know I've had a slow increase of subscribers since I've been away. You people are making me feel bad for not uploading, man. Since I've been gone, went to my first two competitions. First competition I went to, your boy took first. That's right, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Second competition I didn't even place. Fuck. Here's the dude that helped me take first place. You might have seen it before. So I did this way before the Wing Zero, and you can tell I already got that sunset gradient down pat. But uh, this is my son right here. This is my boy. One of the projects I was like halfway through uh, was cleaning off a piece and it washed down the sink drain. So I'm just never gonna finish it. No, 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 I'm, I'm gonna finish it. I'll get around to it eventually. Before I go, just wanted to do a little behind the scenes for this beatdown, show you some of the inspiration that went into it, because this is how I keep myself entertained. Wanted to emulate the sort of team attacks in games where you stop the clock and all the boys get their licks in. I was really trying to make a dramatic entrance on both sides, but I'm too fat. Okay, here we go. What? Oh no! Yeah! So I was like, all right, I'll try sliding in, see how that works out. Nailed it. Now you just gotta run in like an idiot. I don't think you understand how hard it is to do a ground pound while avoiding hitting the garage. Do a 360 from a kneeling position. It is not easy. A little bit of editing and this will look way less stupid. Now one of the best parts, just smacking the piss out of the box. Decapitating the damn thing. Trying to keep it somewhat solid, but task failed successfully. So we got basically no editing here, but I really do punch the ground that hard, just so you know. And then everything put together. I'll take you on. Give them hell. Let's, Let's go. go. If you guys made it this far, I love you. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for playing my game. Ren Zero, out. I stand by. I just, I went the wind.